Today in our second grade math lesson, we are working in Unit 2, Lesson 2. In this lesson, we will practice drawing quick tens and quick hundreds. We will also practice some good mental addition strategies to help us with larger problems. Let's take a look at the first problem. I can see that my number is 24. Now, the first part is practicing those quick drawings that we talked about yesterday. 24, let's draw it. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I like to count as I draw just to make sure I am drawing the correct number. Now over on this side, there is an equation. Now this equation can also be called expanded form. This is when we take the number and we stretch it out to say how much the number is worth. Watch how I do that. I have one, two digits in my number. That means that my equation is going to add two numbers. Now, I ask myself, how much is this two worth in 24? Let's look back at our drawing. Our two is in our tens place, so I look at my ten sticks. 10, 20. That means that my two is worth 20. Then I look at my four, that's in the ones place, and then I look at the ones. One, two, three, four. They are worth four. 20 plus four is equal to 24. Now, second grade, there is a little trick to this. Listen when I say the number very slowly and see if you can hear the parts that I hear. Our number is 24. 24. Do you hear both of those parts, second grade? You can hear the two parts of our expanded form. 24. 24. You can hear them and that will help you make your equation. Let's try another example together. The next number is 62. Let's do our quick draw first. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I organize my tens. 61, 62. Now, when I go over to make my equation or my expanded form, I have one, two digits. So that means I will have two parts to my expanded form. Now listen very carefully as I say the numbers. 62. 62. Do you hear the two parts? 62 is 62. Sometimes we might be tempted to just write 6 plus 2. But what does 6 plus 2 give me? 6, 7, 8. 8 is not the same as 62. So I can't forget the 6 is in the tens place. It's worth 60, then the two ones. Let's try another. 38. Let's draw it first. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I had to organize my ones. Now my equation. Two numbers means two lines, two digits, excuse me, two digits in the number 38. Let's say it nice and slow. Ready? 38. 38 is 38. Oh, this is a bigger number. We haven't done this one yet. 100. Oh, our quick draw is going to be so easy for this one. 
100. All done. That one box represents 100. Now, when I go to write my equation, I have one, two, three digits. One, two, three digits. Now, this one is a little bit tricky because I have two zeros. So the only number that I really have is my 100. So when I go to write it in expanded form, I have 100. Let's look in the tens place. Do I have any tens? No, I do not. And let's look in the ones place. Do I have any ones? No, I do not. So for this expanded form, I have 100 plus zero plus zero, which is kind of a boring expanded form. Let's try one more together. 172. Let's draw it first. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 171, 172. Okay, now I have one, two, three digits. One, two, three lines. And my answer at the end. Now let's say the number nice and slowly. Ready? 172. Let's try it. 172. As long as I say it slowly, I can use my expanded form equation just like that. Take it slow. Listen to all of the number parts. Another second grade strategy to practice in this lesson are quick addition strategies. Let's start right up here. 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. I could go 3, 4, 5. I know that 3 and 2 give me 5. Now look at the bottom equation. It almost looks the same. The only difference is that I have a 0 on my 2 and my 3 to make it 20 plus 30. Watch what I can do, second graders. If I know that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, then I can just plop a 0 at the end. And look at that. I can solve that right in my head. Since I know this top equation, I can easily solve the bottom equation. Let's try another. 1 plus 9. 9, 10. Oh, I should have known that. 9 and 1 more gives me 10. Now look down here. 10 plus 90. Now let's stick with what we know. If we know 9 and 1 gives me 10, then what can I plop right on the end of those numbers? A 0. 10 and 90 gives me 100. I can solve that in my head if I know the top equation. 8 plus 4. Hmm. 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. 8 and 4 give me 12. Now 80 and 40. Let's start with that base equation that we know. 8 plus 4 gives me 12. And then what can I plop on the end? My 0. We're going to be practicing these kinds of quick adding strategies throughout our second grade year. So keep working on these equations like the ones on the top and they will help us solve those bigger equations like the ones on the bottom.